the amount of work that's available in the Maritimes, in Atlantic Canada, is far and wide. The payoff of living here is well worth it. I mean, I'm having the most fun I've had in my entire career right now. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Photography kind of came as a fluke. I was not a great student, so when I went to university, I was only let in part-time. So I bought a really cheap camera and started taking photos and really just kind of fell in love with it. I was at Mount A, which had a photography program. After that, I was just completely obsessed. So I was really just surrounding myself with photography every minute of every day. My photography professor, he pushed me a lot. That really helped me grow really quickly and like see things in a different way. My cousin was a photographer for a long time. So I learned a lot from him. We used to go out on weekends and shoot all the time. My parents were really supportive in kind of helping me realize what I wanted to do because it's not a traditional career. It's not something that people think you can actually make money doing. Having that encouragement and that backing from them really made a big difference. My wife, Sarah, really pushed me to kind of want to do this full time. It's not a secure job. I think without her support, I don't, I don't think I would have felt good to do it. Video was something people had been asking for. I saw the work that goes into that. And I knew that I wouldn't be able to do that on my own, and I didn't want to do it on my own. I met Austin when he was 18, I think. It was 2017. I decided to go to McKenzie College. So every year, the Photography Media Arts Program comes and see what a real photographer does. Young kid from, from, from the country. Uh, the whole class left and I stayed for a bit just to chat with him. So I said, you know, reach out to me if you ever want to work together and I'd be happy to bring you on some shoots and like if you want to assist. So I mean, obviously I, I jumped to the opportunity. Probably for a better part of two years, he assisted on, on a good part of shoots and he was shooting on his own. I remember mentioning to him like, I'd really like to start doing video. My dream was always to be a videographer. So I said to him, I can shoot. I said, really? Okay. So I texted him on a Friday and I said, okay, go shoot something on the weekend and send it to me on Monday. I will remember this weekend forever and ever. Saturday was raining all day. So Sunday was the only day I could shoot and edit and deliver. Me and my dad shot like a little like a spec ad. I edited that night, sent it off to him. And I thought, well, this might work. We started to shoot spec ads for a bunch of people around, just free stuff, and to build some sort of portfolio. So in February 2021, uh, we launched Uproar. It was just Austin and I at the time. Yeah, it's been it's been a whirlwind <laughs> ever since. A lot earlier than we thought we would have to, um, we started talking about hiring. My name is Ben Agnew, and I am the production manager at Upward Productions. I really get to know the client, and I get to know what they're looking for, and I get to kind of oversee the project to a sense. I get my hands in on the creative work. I control the social media, but my business card would be long. Not too long after that, we were shooting, shooting. We needed an editor. My name is Marie-Ève Lamarche, and I'm a video editor. It's different every day. I'm also sometimes on the shoot, so to me it's like breaking the routine a little bit and makes it more fun. Maybe like nine months after, we had our third hire already. So we're two and a half years into Uproar. We are now a team of seven. When we first opened up Roar, we made a conscious decision that we would keep the photography business and the video business separate. Recently, we've made the decision to bring the two companies together and put everything in one place. My name is Nate Blackman. Uh, I'm a photographer. You know, every day is a new challenge. We get to interact with so many people, being creative and just being able to, you know, share experiences with different people from different walks of life. I would say that's, you know, kind of my favorite aspect of the job. What gave me the confidence to think I was 
capable to thrive in this field was my coworkers, was Denise and Austin, was them making me feel like I belonged here and that I could do what I'm doing. If you're in here and you spend any substantial amount of time with these people, you don't want to leave. I think what's different here is we are serious in what we're doing, but we still are kind of laid back. We don't take ourselves too seriously. But when it's time to work, it's time to work. And whatever position they're at, I feel like everybody's like, okay, we got this. I'm super grateful to be part of such a great team and we get to do what we love. We get to be creative every day. Everyone has a place in the company and everyone's voice is heard. We're always laughing, we're always having fun, but also delivering that high-end product that we do. I think clients have fun with us. People are timid, people are scared to get their photos taken or the whole session. And by the end of it, it's almost like they want more because they've enjoyed it so much. It's cool to see what people look for and then how Denis can bring that to life. The one thing about Denis is that even though he has so much experience in the industry, um, he's still so open to collaborating with ideas then he just literally took me under his wing. Just assisting him, it was huge. I mean, like, like Denny is literally a world-renowned photographer. Like, just the fact that he wanted to, to start a video company and, like, started it with me was, like, mind-blowing. It's, it's crazy. There have definitely been times where I've thought about moving. I mean, the type of work I wanted to do was more so being done in bigger centers than it is around here. This has always been home. This has always felt like home quickly realized that the amount of work that's available in the Maritimes, in Atlantic Canada, in New Brunswick, on its own, is far and wide. Still get the question like, what else do you do? And it's, it's so funny because people just don't think that you can, you can have a career here. I, I just never bought into the notion that, you know, you have to leave these places to do that work. Sure, you might have to work a little harder, but I think the, the payoff of living here is well worth it.